Welcome back guys, this is episode 8 of uh, my City Skylines playthrough. Uh, I've, uh, just take a moment to talk about my channel here. A lot of you guys have been talking about my audio quality and uh, my need to maybe upgrade my microphone. Well, I've heard you guys and I have purchased a new microphone that'll be coming here in the next couple of days and, uh, hopefully soon, uh, after this video we'll be able to hear the uh, hopefully very much improved audio quality uh, right now i'm recording just on my normal uh, i got a logitech g930 headset awesome headset by the way i really recommend it but uh, maybe not the best headset for recording audio for a playthrough like this so uh i i, I ended up buying the uh, blue yeti i did a few hours of research uh, online and uh, weighed the pros and cons, and I think that's going to work out. I'll be sure to uh, play around with that, make sure it works out before I make some videos with it. But uh, I'm really looking forward to getting that in. But enough about that. Let's get straight into the gameplay now. So in our last video, we did unlock some new policies that I want to uh, dive into. And that's specifically under the City Planning tab here. That'll be the Small Business Enthusiast which adds perks for small businesses. Low density commercial buildings double their sales. Upkeep, $2 per low density commercial building. And big business benefactor, perks for large businesses. High density commercial buildings double their sales. Upkeep, $4 per high density commercial building. Now this is actually pretty expensive if you take into account how many individual buildings we have, but uh, Overall, I think it's really worth it, and uh, you'll see why here. So if you look right now, we're making 8,000, I, I think the currency, like I said, is simoleons per, uh, per week. So let's uh, bump this up to three times so that we can get the full effect. And I'm going to pop on both of these right now. And let's just see what that does to our profits here. You can see immediately they're starting to rise. A building just leveled up right as I did that. Actually, I think those were residential. That was just coincidence. But look at this. From 8,000, we're at 3,000. Are we going to get to... No, no. We're, we, we ended up at about 3,500. And uh, that's from 8,000. That was just at enacting these two policies. Really easy, really great tip for uh, increasing your your uh, weekly income during this kind of mid-stage of the game. That's really a great uh, option for uh, growing your city. Alright, so these guys are all full again, uh, these landfills. So I'm going to start emptying them again. And I, that means I'm going to have to closely start monitoring my trash situation again so I don't get any problems. But uh, I think I've solved most of those issues for now. All right, so let's go back on to zoning now. I do want to continue zoning in some of this uh, commercial here. Uh, the high density commercial, just so I can get that really cool looking skyline that I was, uh, that I'm after. So let's just do in some of that right here. And this square here and this one here. And then, I'm not sure if I should, where I should go from here. Let's um, let's uh, just go back to rezoning some of this as high density. So let's just continue here and rezone. Continue here, rezone all that. And that is uh, it's like a high school. What is this? Yeah, that's my high school. All right. So then let's rezone this. See, I don't know why they put like single building, like uh, these are the one by one tile buildings and they put four of them here instead of doing a larger four by four tile building. That's really strange. Maybe when I uh, initially laid this out, it was zoned kind of weird or something, but uh, it's no matter. It's all getting replaced now anyways. Let's get all this rezoned. I'm actually going to redo that just because I want a better building there. Come on, dezone all this. Dezone. Why does this keep auto zoning back in? I'll demolish these buildings. And then dezone that, and then rezone it, and hopefully I can get a 2x2 two two building in there. 
the larger buildings do matter, guys. It does give you better land value, and, uh, like, the larger squared buildings do give you more residents that can move in and all that kind of stuff. So it is worth it to try and get some of those bigger buildings. I'm not sure it's really worth it to go and bulldoze every single imperfect building. I don't think anybody's really got time for that, but, uh, it is worth it to try and get those, uh, as much as you can. So this is another single square here, so I'm actually gonna just put that in with low density commercial like I was mentioning earlier. That'll create a nice little gas station or something to help them out here, and it really doesn't create a lot of noise. It's just one square there. Alright, so let's get all of that undone and put it all back in with high density. I do still have a lot of residential demand, so as long as I've still got that going, that's just giving me free reign to do all of this. And let's just finish this up there. Cool. Well, let's zone in a few more high density, because I do, uh, the commercial that is, because I do still have demand for that. Alright. A lot of these episodes here, guys, are just going to be me uh, zoning in areas. Uh, you know, that's just what this part of the game is, is I've got a, this massive uh, expansion of my city here. I'm going to bulldoze these buildings. Hopefully I can get something nicer in there. It doesn't matter how, how big, especially when you're playing at the higher speed with full demand, it does matter what your, what, uh, how big the zone is that you're selecting to zone in. Because if, I, if you do select like a single square, a building will pop in there that quickly that uh, it'll start growing in. So you do have to be a little careful with that. Alright, let's just finish this all up there. Good. Alright. And let's keep expanding. Uh, let's get the rest of this here, uh, the coast he over here is high density. Get all of this here. Just so one square at a time again, just so I maintain that electrical grid as I'm working. There we go. Get all of that. Why is this going back as high density? There we go. Let's get this whole block all in one go. There we go. And that little bit there. And then let's actually zone in this whole thing right here. Get all that. Because I, I do want that skyline. I think that'll look really cool. Alright. Actually, not this skyline. Because what I'm going to put here, I think, is this is all going to be a row of offices. And I do have a bit of uh, industrial demand, so I will start zoning in a bit of this. I don't know how well it's going to zone in, though. So let's just do a few at a time, just so we can maintain the electrical grid as I work. And that single square, I, it's just going to be a low-density commercial zone. I do really like that. And, uh, I mean, I might, I'll, I'll probably, I'm sure I'll find some later on that I've missed. And uh, you'll, you'll see they'll probably reveal themselves as being, as complaining about something. They're always complaining they're burning down or something stupid. So, but uh, the low-density commercial, I've noticed, does actually like living there. Oh, it looks like we got some water problems. Let's make sure y'all have water. There you go. Cool. Awesome. Alright. So. Now. I do want to get all this whole area here rezoned as the high density. But then I think I do also want to get some kind of a suburb going somewhere. And I'm not quite sure where yet. Uh, I do want to get one of these tiles so that I can get a railroad. Uh, but I'm not sure quite which one. It would be kind of cool to have, like, a suburban area, like a da- or, or maybe even, like, a- Well, no, this is kind of our high-density downtown up there. But I could get, like, a nice suburb over here with some, uh, uh some, like, higher-educated people closer to this, uh, the oil facility that's going to want that. And I can put in some nice offices down here as well. 
and uh, buying this tile would give us the uh, rail connection that I could run into my industrial sector and even eventually up into my commercial zone to help them get tiles. So I think I will. I think I'll purchase that, this tile right here. And uh, then we'll be able to start filling all this in with, uh, with a nice suburb. So let's actually... Let's make a big project out of this. Let's slow it down just so I'm not getting too ahead of myself. But let's actually... Let's actually just do something completely off the wall. Let's delete all of this railroad. Just because it's going to get in my way. And it's not doing anything yet. In fact, I'm okay with just leaving that railroad off. It's not actually going anywhere into my city yet. So let's just leave that railroad off, and then I'll rebuild it sometime later. Now, let's create a cool, like... Let's create, like, a cool, uh... I don't know. I, I want to have fun with this community here. Let's do maybe a six-lane one-way with trees, all right? And then I'm actually going to make this. Let's get the curve tool. And I'm going to keep the uh, the snap on for this, and you'll see why. I want to create, and I'll use this rail here as a bit of a point of reference. I'm going to create a giant roundabout. Let's bring that there. And then up there. And over there. It's not perfect. But, uh... I don't know. I kind of like it. That works. It does its job. Alright. And I'm using the uh, trees here because I'm going to have a lot of residential and stuff over here. And then, from this, I will have a four-way road with trees just going down the center. And I really should have laid down the center road first. That would have helped, helped me make the roundabout. But uh, that's okay. This is good enough. Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> should I redo that? No. That's fine. I, I, it's, I'm not that picky. That's good enough. And then coming off of these... I think I'm actually going to do, like, cool little spurs. But not going the whole way. It's going to be like a, uh... Something like this. So then I'm getting most of the space, but it's not actually filling in the whole way. There we go. And something like that. It's not perfect, guys, I know, but uh I I'm not that big of a perfectionist. So I think this is just fine. Yeah, I could spend a little more time doing it, but, uh... That would be really boring for all of you guys. And I don't want to make you all sit through that. So, this is good enough for me. I mean, I could do, like, a, uh, speed it up with, like, a montage or something, but, uh... I don't... I don't think it's necessary. I'm quite happy with going just like this for now. Let's do that there... Um, I, I scrolled out a bit just so I could get uh, get a better view. Because I do want these to kind of line up, just not be fully connected. And that is for traffic reasons primarily. There we go. So now I should be able to just follow these roads for this last little bit of this. And I mean, even though the roads aren't straight, I think once this fills in with buildings... It'll look pretty cool. And we'll do all this here like this. 
These roads do cost money. If you look, I'm already, I lost, I've spent like a couple thousand on roads just building this feature here. But, uh, I mean, it'll all get paid back once I fill it in, obviously. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete some of this uh, inside part. One, two... I think I deleted too much there, but that's okay. And then I'm going to create another six lane in the center. And make the center a bit of a roundabout as well. There we go. And I want to put something cool in the center, like some kind of a big, unique building. And I'm not really sure what yet. Maybe this big old colossal order offices. That would be pretty cool. Or like the Opera House or the Expo Center. Or what is this? The Science Center. Oh, but I've even got like these cool, like the Sea and Skyscraper, the Modern Art Museum. Or I could put in a couple of these. Let's do that. Let's run this road, this four lane road. And let's actually, this one will continue the whole way. And then see if we can't fit two of these buildings. Oh, that one's facing a bad way. That one, I mean, I could put that in there. This thing's really small, actually. But I could put in, like, the stadium on one side. And then, like, the modern, no. What is this thing? The Mall of Moderation. Uh, that thing's stupid. What could I put here? This thing's cool. This giant building. That might be cool. I could put that in. The Colossal Order building. And then on the other side, the Grand Mall's really cool too. I could put that in on the other side. That just doesn't quite fit. I mean, I could still put it in. I could put that on one side and the Colossal Order building on the other side. And then I could zone this from the center out. Make that kind of like the center pieces. Let's do, yeah, I think we should do that. <laughs> These things are noisy though, but uh, I'm going to show you guys a really cool trick we can do to help with that noise. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's make sure we've got all of our plumbing and stuff set up before I start laying stuff in here though. And like I said, I'm not really going to worry about the water too, too, too much. I'm just going to make sure everything's covered and everyone will be happy. But this pipe is expensive as well, so I, I do have to consider that. Let's see. Just run this all across. Run it all across. Every bit, everywhere. There we go. Alright. And then I'll need to run some electricity. Uh, there's a couple ways I could run the electricity. I think I'm going to be greedy, though. And I think I'm just going to run, like, straight up here. And then I'll just make that the first little bit I zone in. And then the last thing I need to do is I need to create some kind of an interchange. Now, I could do a really cool interchange, or I could be lazy. I think I'm going to be lazy just for now and use this kind of cool three-way intersection that they pre-laid. And uh, just use that to get me started. So let's do that. Let's uh, delete all of this here. And then throw in that three-way intersection. And then you can hold right mouse button to kind of rotate it easily. And I think I'll just throw it right there. And then go and lay my highway back up here and uh, yeah this is a really ugly uh really ugly intersection right now but uh i am going to redo all the highways eventually so don't don't worry about that oh i've got those going the wrong way don't i let's just fix that there, here's a really good tip guys if you have road laying the wrong direction uh what you can do is you can switch to the upgrade tool and you can just right click it and that'll rotate the road for you. It's a really good tip that'll save you a lot of time. Alright, so what I'm going to do now 
is because these this is actually a one-way road anyways is I could just put off ramps going on but I think I'm actually just going to condense these into a six lane road so let's uh or a four lane road actually well no a six lane yeah we'll do the six lane road coming out here let's take the snap off and eh, no, let's leave the snap on so they come out all the way eh could I just do it straight there no so let's just do the snap tool here and then have these roads going as a bit of a one way highway do the one coming out there and the one coming in uh they won't let me do that will they what if i do a curve kind of coming out like that there we go awesome 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 so then what i'll do is we're gonna start with low density residential and that's gonna be all this on the outside here and i'm actually gonna zone this all the way in so i can get my grid going my power grid and then i'm gonna stop there make all that high density or low density residential and then speed this back up so people will move in hopefully hopefully there's the first few houses i do need to extend this power grid again uh where will you go you'll go there to there cool and then maybe we'll just zone in this bit there as well and now they have power and then this bit here i'm gonna zone all this in as as uh, offices here all the way till about there and then i'm gonna do low density commercial all through here and keep this going in here all the way in here and this is where i'm going to put in my unique buildings so we're going to put in the metro mall right there and then the colossal order office building right there and then we are going to finish zoning in this commercial all through here so they eventually get power there we go this is gonna be a really cool little z district that i'm making down here i think you guys are gonna love this i think that's enough for this episode in the next episode we're definitely gonna start zoning in all of this and uh, I'll, I'll start explaining kind of why I've got this office uh, buffer zone here and uh, what that's going to do. You're definitely going to want to check out this next episode. We're going to get a lot of really good tips and tricks in. And we're definitely going to finish zoning in all of this circle over here. You're going to want to check out this next episode, guys. Take care. See you next time.